Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who know me or follow me on social media, you know that I'll be doing a lot of traveling for the rest of the year. So I really wanted to keep this YouTube channel alive. As you all know, I've been posting a lot more regularly, trying to get you videos once a week. So in order to keep up this channel while I'm traveling, I had two choices. I could either travel with my whole studio set up with me, which would include a microphone, a microphone stand, cables, um, an interface, computer, all that stuff, or I could invest in a smaller, more portable microphone and way to record so I could still make videos. So I decided to buy a Shure MV88 to record with while I was traveling. Right after I bought it, I posted on my Instagram story about it, saying that I was excited to start recording and doing projects with it. And my friend Harold, who is a trumpet player from Blast, suggested that I make a mic review video. So Harold, thanks for the video idea. So let's just get the most important detail out of the way first. I'm sure you're all wondering, how much does it cost? The Shure MV88 on Amazon right now only costs $149. So it's pretty cheap considering it includes everything you're gonna need to start recording. I do have an affiliate link for the microphone down in the description if you wanna check it out or purchase it from Amazon. So here's the little box it comes in. You can tell um, by the box that this microphone is actually really small and really compact. It's really tiny. So let's talk about what the mic comes with. So first of all, it comes with this super cute little traveling case. I almost cried when I saw this, it was so cute. It's really tiny. So obviously you can fit this anywhere. You know, obviously it's gonna fit in your suitcase, but you could just have it in a bag or a backpack, uh, an instrument case. You know, I bet this would fit into my trombone case. So it's super convenient to travel with and carry around. So then inside the case is the microphone itself. Again, super, super tiny, it's crazy. Um, as you can see, it comes with a lightning cable, so that's gonna be able to plug into any Apple products, you know, your iPhone, your iPad, or if you still have an iPod. So this is another really convenient thing about it, is it just plugs straight into your phone. It also comes with this windscreen that you can take on and off really easily. So this comes right off, and then this is what the mic looks like itself. I have been recording with this windscreen on so far, so I like the way that that's been sounding. It also comes with a headphone adapter, which as you can see, I have not even taken out of the plastic yet. For anyone who's using a newer device to record, you know, the newer iPhones don't even have a headphone jack, so you really can't even use this. So that's why it's still in the plastic. So far on this channel, I've recorded two projects using this microphone. If you wanna check them out so you can get an idea of how it sounds. The first one we actually recorded last summer during the Blast Tour. It was done by the trombone section from Blast, the Bone Zone, <laughs> um, in addition to Kaylee Brook on percussion and Hiromo Yoneso on trumpet. It was an original composition from Hiro called March. And the project turned out really well. I think this mic is really good for like a group recording or a live recording session. I think the sound quality was really good. Um, you can check it out up here. Another project that I did using this microphone, I just released a couple of weeks ago. It was I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. Now this was the first like trombone multi-track recording that I did using this microphone, the Shure MB88. And I will get into that a little later in this video. So how do you use it? In order to use this microphone, you will have to download the apps to your iPhone or other device. I used my iPhone. This is an important thing to remember. There are two different apps for this microphone. I definitely learned that the hard way when I was figuring this out. So the two different apps are by Motive. They are called Motive Audio and Motive Video. So you can download them from the App Store. Motive Audio obviously just does audio, and then Motive Video will allow you to record both audio and video at the same time. For all my projects, I've only been using Motive Audio as I like to record my audio and video separately. So today in this video, I'm only gonna be talking about the Motive Audio app. So another thing about this microphone is it is super easy to use. All you have to do is plug it into your phone and then open up the app. 
So once you plug it in and open the app, on the bottom there are three different icons. And if you click on the left icon, it looks like two little switches. That's gonna bring you to all of your controls and you can set everything just the way you like it. So you can choose if you wanna record in stereo, mono, mono bi-directional, or raw mid-side. You can also choose your stereo width. It has presets that range from 60 degrees to 120 degrees, and you can even set it a little further to 130 degrees if you like. Next down, there is a limiter, which you can turn on or off. Below that is the compressor with three different options, off, light, or heavy. There's also an option for wind reduction, which you can turn on or off. And then below that is the equalizer. So let me share with you the settings that I've been using so far while I've been experimenting with this new microphone. I always record in mono for all my projects, especially for the multi-track videos. The limiter is on. With the compressor, I've been experimenting with this a little bit. I definitely always have it on, but I've been choosing between light and heavy. I'm not sure which sound I like best. Um, obviously having it on heavy, there's less of a chance of peaking of the microphone, but it kind of gives it kind of like a more tinny, kind of thin sound. So like I said, I've been going back and forth between light or heavy. I think they both have their pluses and minuses. I have the wind reduction off because I usually record my audio inside, so I don't think there's a need for it. And then the equalizer, I haven't really been messing with because I do put all of my audio files into GarageBand and then I do all of that over there. Next up on the bottom is a little microphone icon. It's in the center. So click on that and it will take you over to where you record. All you have to do is hit that big red button and you're good to go. Up at the top of this, there is a slider which you can control your mic gain level there. I've been recording with the gain actually pretty low for the trombone to keep it from peaking. I'm definitely still experimenting with the gain level, but I'm finding the sweet spot so far for the trombone to be around 9, 10, or 11 decibels. Another thing I've been noticing about using this microphone is I'm having to have the mic placement a little bit farther away than when I record with my Shure SM57 at home, like in a full studio setup. With the Shure MV88, I'm noticing I need to have it about five to seven feet in front of the trombone. If you have any advice or you wanna share any of your settings that you use or any of your experiences that you've had recording with the Shure MV88, please let everyone know down in the comments. Last but not least, down on the bottom on the right side, there's a little sound wave icon and that is where all of your recordings are stored. Right after you're done recording, you can name them right away so you don't get confused which one is which. From there, you can play your audio. You can edit it by splicing it or trimming it. Or if you click the three dots, you can share it to wherever it needs to go. Personally, after I'm done recording my audio, I share everything over to my computer using AirDrop, and then I edit all my audio files together in GarageBand. Last but not least, let's talk about all the pros and cons about the Shure MV88. Number one on the pros list is the price. It's super cheap. As I mentioned before, $149, you have everything you need to record. It's like a built-in setup. With a normal studio setup, you're gonna need to buy a mic, a mic stand, cables, an interface that's gonna have to go into a computer and your recording software and everything. So this is all inclusive, a little tiny package. So the price. Number two on the pros list is the size. As I mentioned before, it's super convenient for travel. It's so tiny. Tiny little case, tiny little microphone. So for traveling, it's perfect. Number three, the app is really easy to use. It's very user-friendly. There are not a lot of settings, so it's easy. It can be used for audio only or audio and video. So that's kind of convenient that you have those two different options. And I would say this mic is great for live recordings or group recording sessions. Okay, now let's get to those cons. Now some of these I kind of already knew before I bought this, but then others I have learned through my process of making my videos using this microphone. So the number one con I would say is you have no monitoring, meaning you cannot hear yourself play while you are recording. And this is mainly because, depending on the kind of device you use, like I said, I am using my iPhone. The newer iPhones do not have a headphone jack, so there's really no way that you can record, you know, with the Shure MV88 plugged into the lightning port, and then there's nowhere for your headphones to go. So you can't monitor it, you can't listen to yourself. 
in addition to not being able to monitor while you're recording. Probably the bigger thing that I think is a con about this is that you cannot listen to your pre-existing track. So in the pros, I mentioned this microphone, it could be really good for live recording sessions or group recording sessions. But when you're doing multi-track recordings, whether it's multiple you know, instrument parts, like I do the trombone multi-tracks, or if you're recording with a pre-existing track, you, know, you can't listen to that track with the same device that you're recording with. So what I've been doing is I have my computer set up with the garage band over to the side, and I have my headphones in listening to that track, and then I'm recording on a separate device, you know, my iPhone, using the Shure MV88 microphone. So the reason this is not ideal is because you can't really record in time. You know, if you were recording with a mic setup that was going straight into GarageBand or Logic or whatever program you use, while you're recording your different takes, you get them in time with the track. So it makes the audio editing at the end a lot easier when you are mixing and mastering your audio. So when you're doing it this way with the Shure MV88, you don't have the option of doing the instant playback, right? Like you can record something and then listen back to it mixed with the track already. You can't do that. So it definitely slows down the process because what I'm having to do is, like I said, have GarageBand running, listening to the track in my headphones, I record into my iPhone, and then after that, I have to send the files over to my computer using AirDrop and then put them into GarageBand and then I can edit from there. So it's definitely an extra step in the process. And like I said, not being able to record in time, then I have to go back and like reline up the files with the track. So it definitely takes a lot longer doing it this way. But at the end of the day, I'm so happy I got this mic so I could still record and make YouTube videos while I'm traveling. It's definitely not ideal for some of the cons that I listed, but I'm making it work. The pros definitely outweighed the cons for me in my situation. Thanks for watching. I know this video is a little different from what I normally do here on this channel, but I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think of this video down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And again, if you have anything you want to share about your experience using the Shure MB88, please let everyone know down below. Let's have a conversation about it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. There's a new trombone collaboration video coming out that I'm really excited about. So see you then. Bye.